In the heart of America, at the confluence of the Kansas and mighty Missouri rivers, Kansas City developed as an important river town long before we knew how critical the quality of water would be for our future. While the city grew, sanitary sewers were built as a way to improve public health and quality of life. In fact, nearly 150 years later, some of those first pipes are still in use. Combined sewers, which include stormwater and wastewater in one pipe, were the norm in over 700 cities throughout our country before the 1970s. But these types of sewers were not designed to capture and treat all of the combined stormwater and wastewater that flows during large rainfall events. As a result, more than 6 billion gallons of untreated diluted sewage overflows into Kansas City's streams, lakes, and rivers in a typical year. Over a 25-year period, Kansas City will make improvements to reduce combined sewer overflows as well as overflows from its separate sanitary system through the Overflow Control Program. This investment in Kansas City's water quality will eventually cost over $4.5 billion. Kansas City knows that combined sewer improvements should not just be about water quality. They should also provide healthier and greener neighborhoods, support economic development, and provide durable infrastructure in the city for years to come. Kansas City plans to make a substantial investment in our sewer infrastructure. We must make sure that that investment not only creates jobs, but makes our neighborhoods more livable. We started with the Middle Blue River Basin Green Solutions Pilot Project. Rather than to do traditional gray improvements that are very expensive and out of sight and out of mind, we really wanted to invest in improvements that people could see and that enhanced the neighborhood. To do this, we tested green stormwater management techniques and streetscape improvements for reducing combined sewer overflows. The pilot project is located in part of Kansas City's Marlboro neighborhood, near Truce Avenue and 75th Street. It targets a 100-acre drainage area to the Blue River, which eventually flows to the Missouri River. We came to public meetings to talk about sewers, but the people wanted to talk about damaged sidewalks, curb and street repairs, and speeding traffic. This gave the design team ideas on how to address the neighborhood's needs and to reduce sewage overflow. Working within the public right-of-way, the project team strategically selected locations and types of green solutions, resulting in 150 leading-edge stormwater management improvements. Integrated in these solutions are street, curb, and sidewalk improvements, even traffic calming devices, all of which will improve water quality and address neighborhood concerns. Before work on green solutions began, the area's sewer system was rehabilitated to make sure it was in good working condition, and manholes were replaced or repaired. All green solutions were installed in the public right-of-way, mostly between the sidewalk and the curb. The improvements include rain gardens, bioretention rain gardens, cascades, porous pavement, permeable paver sidewalks, and curb extension rain gardens. Rain gardens are just one of several stormwater management solutions. Street edge rain gardens consist of vegetated depressions that collect runoff from roads, driveways, and parking lots. Water soaks into the ground or is taken up by the root systems of native flowers, grasses, and shrubs, which add beauty to the residential and business corridor. Bioretention rain gardens are similar to basic rain gardens, but provide added storage for stormwater in pipes and gravel pits hidden below the surface. These units are designed to drain water within 24 to 36 hours. Cascades are used to control stormwater in sloped areas. Water flows into the first basin of a tiered structure and overflows into each successive basin as the previous structure fills up and spills over. They are also designed to drain water within 24 to 36 hours. Porous pavement sidewalks are located throughout the pilot project area. They are often located alongside a rain garden. The pavement is designed to allow water to pass through the surface instead of running off into the street. 
Similar to porous pavement sidewalks are permeable paver sidewalks. The pavers are located along Troost Avenue. Underneath the pavers are large crates that hold water during large rainstorms and keep the water out of the sewer system until the storm has passed. The addition of curbs to the streets in the pilot project area allowed for installation of a type of improvement called a curb extension. This vegetated extension narrowed the street to help slow down traffic and created a green area to provide an attractive place to collect storm water. The project moved from concept to design and then to construction over a four-year period. The project was unique in terms of technical solutions to the problem, but there were partnerships formed and more importantly, the neighborhood was uplifted. The project involved a lot of outreach and education in the neighborhood. Neighborhood activities included teaming up with block captains, conducting door-to-door -door canvassing, hosting pancake breakfasts, and holding meetings right in the residence's front yard. Near the completion of the Green Solutions construction, Kansas City invited area residents to participate in workshops conducted by New Reflections KC and Blue River Watershed Association. The workshops educated residents about ways that they could manage stormwater on their own properties. Demonstrations showed how to disconnect downspouts and install rain barrels. The city also provided information on how to plant a rain garden. This was a really important project and we needed to show the citizens that the city could be coordinated. We brought together the planning department, public works, the water department, parks and rec, neighborhoods and community services for over a year so that we could get the planning, the designing and the construction right. Programs to encourage and incentivize private property improvements were advertised for this area. The neighborhood and community services department started their own pilot program in this neighborhood. They achieved 90% abatement of over 95 code violations throughout the neighborhood. The innovative approach to controlling sewer overflows used in this project is of interest to researchers and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to see how green infrastructure can control stormwater and also improve neighborhoods. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has worked on two projects within the pilot area. The first involved researchers to model and monitor soil and water conditions before, during, and after installation of green infrastructure. Working with UMKC and other partners, the EPA evaluated the effectiveness of the green infrastructure installed. The second EPA project involved working with residents to install demonstration rain gardens and rain barrels on their own property, as well as disconnecting downspouts that were connected to the sewer. In total, the EPA installed 20 rain barrels and planted eight rain gardens on private property. I'm actually a little jealous because where I live, I don't. Uh, the pilot project hasn't yet gotten to my neighborhood, and I can hardly wait till it does. Um, you know, the fact that we are going to be uh, in our neighborhood is going to have a national, uh, nationally significant kind of program where we're using uh, permeable concrete, where we're using basins where we can plant flowers in and recycle that water naturally. Um, not only is it going to beautify that neighborhood, but it's going to solve those stormwater issues and not using gray structures, but using green ones. It's been very positive. It's, uh, uh, the people on my block, um, instead, it used to be I would have to come and, you know, ask people to do, or they want to be involved in something, or would they help me clean up something, or do they want to do something to, you know, help improve the neighborhood or be involved in what's going on. Now they're coming to me and uh, asking what, you know, what they can do. I think that people are, uh, are enjoying the sidewalks more. They, people are walking, you know, walking more. I noticed that. They're not having to walk in the street. They can now walk, you know, on the sidewalk and, uh, and just have, enjoy, and just enjoy the neighborhood. If you guys can do this over other areas in Kansas City, because the whole city needs this actually, you know, so we definitely are appreciative for what you've done for our area. And we just hope that the people in the neighborhood will actually see the same thing and take care of their properties to keep it up. The Middle Blue River Basin Green Solutions Pilot Project is not your typical sewer project. 
The types of improvements constructed have provided sustainable benefits to the residents and will improve property values and enhance quality of life. As such, this pilot project area is proud to be designated as the first KC Green neighborhood. Kansas City hopes that the lessons learned from this important project will help define how green infrastructure improvements are applied in more of our neighborhoods and provide a model for communities across the nation.